All right, we're going to keep the Jeopardy festivities going with the Platinum Edition for Windows. Let's see how we do here. This is Jeopardy. Yeah, I guess I'll be him. All right, and I'm on a different computer player. Yeah, we'll let her be a player. And we'll let him be a player. We have Mimi and Fred facing me this game. And now, here is our host, Alex Trebek. Thank you, Johnny Gilbert. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to your favorite game of Answers and Questions. We know who the contestants are, so let's go to work in the first round, the Jeopardy round, which has the one daily double. This program has performed an illegal operation and will be shut down. What? Oh, don't tell me. It was working just fine pre recently. Let's try again. Might be a glitch or something. I don't know. Jeopardy. Yeah, we'll just let these two be computer players. Either way, that's weird. And now, here is our host, Alex Trebek. Thank you, Johnny Gilbert. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to your favorite game of Answers and Questions. We know who the contestants are, so let's go to work in the first round, the Jeopardy round, which has the one daily double. That's more like it. Here are the categories. Fabrics, famous actors, transportation, literary allusions, abbreviations, zoology. Oh, interesting categories. All right. Where are we going to start? I think we will start things off with abbreviations for 100. Take note, this secretarial scale is abbreviated D-I-C-T. What is a dictionary? Sorry, wrong. Ah, foop. Ah, foop. Bikarupa. A zoo. Ow. I said, oh, dictionary skills. No, sorry. Oh, that's wrong too, Mary. Ha ha. Oops, I don't know. Sorry, wrong. <laughs> Everybody's in the hole. It's dictation, okay. Abbreviations for 200. In grammar, PR can stand for present or this, or for this part of speech. What is a preposition? No, sorry. What? Or could it be pronoun? I said preposition. Gosh, that's wrong. Mary, were you not paying attention? Apparently she was not. Apparently she was not. Pronoun, yeah. You got it. Make another selection. So Kathy's out of the hole now. Fabric 300. The sea island type of this natural fiber may come from the sea, sea islands or the West Indies. Cotton. That's right. Pick again. Yeah. It's the device in a plane's black box. What is a propel? No. It's the device in a plane's black box. What is a? I don't know. Sorry. Wrong. Forgot. Not off to a good start, but I can rebound. It's early. Very early. A flight data recorder. You're right. All right. 
This loosely woven culinary cloth is used to shade tobacco plants. What is that one fabric I've probably never heard of? Oh, cheesecloth? You got it. Yeah. Well, the crepe back type of this fabric is dull on one side and lustrous on the other. Satine? Gosh, that's wrong. Bika Rupa. Zoo. Ow. You spank me, I'll spank your leader hosen. Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh satin. That's what Mikey Batten would say anyway. The title of his nonsense poem Jabberwocky is synonymous with gibberish. Who is Lewis Carroll? Uh, yes. Famous author of Alice That's right. Again. There we go. Literary Illusions 100. You can refer to a devoted aide as a man this on any day of the week, as Robinson Crusoe would tell you. What is Friday? Right. Literary Illusions 300. Well, there was one time when Homer Simpson referred to Alice in Wonderland as Alice in Town. This novelist invented the kingdom of Shangri-La, and it became a synonym for <laughs> Utopia. Who is uh, Thomas Moore? No, that's not right. Anyone else? Ah, uh, foop. Oh, foop yourself. Oh. Okay, Mark the Bundy Chick. I got away with that. Ow. No, I said I got away with that. You got it. Ugh. So you're supposed to redneck spank me. Uh, okay. Ow! Ma males of the stag species of this insect have jaws that resemble antlers. It's a right. beetle. It's a beetle. The world's smallest monkeys, they include the pygmy and the golden lion tam tamarind. Oh. Oh. World's smallest monkeys. Oh, who are they? Who are they? Uh, what is that? What are marmosets? Yes. There we go. Uh, zoology for 100. This largest bird has the fewest toes, two on each foot. What is the ostrich? You got it. Uh, let's go uh, 200, please. During this winter dormancy, some animals' body temperatures dropped to near freezing. What is hibernation? That's right. Pick again. Out of the hole. Zoology 300. On a chameleon, this organ is as long as its body. What is the heart? Gosh, that's wrong. Son of a biscuit. No, that's not right. Anyone else? You got it. Oh, okay. This sleek worsted fabric used to make suits doesn't come from hammerheads, as its name implies. Oh, shark skin. You got it. Make another selection. A rose point, a very fragile type of this delicate fabric, often features floral motifs. Lace. The adjective Shandine, Shandine describes someone who behaves like this offbeat title character. Shandine, I should say. Excuse me. Where are your manners? All over Marty's bacon. Oof. <laughs> Sorry, Marty. Shut up. A biography of this actor has a title. Heart to heart, not heart to heart. Mary Hart? No, I'm sorry, that's the wrong. Memoirs of Bacon by Marty Bingle. <laughs> He's gonna kill me for that. Yes, he is. 
You would have to kill me first. No, sorry. Or Mark, uh, worst case scenario, he could just say, Shut up! <laughs> Oh, Robert Wagner. Okay. And the clue is, lighters are a type of these flat-bottom cargo boats used cheaply in sheltered waters. Flat-bottom boats. What are gondolas? No. What are... Lifeboats? No. No, that's not right. Anyone else? Aw, oh, foo. Barges. Right. Ah. Uh, a braggart can be called a braga, braggadocio after the name of a character in his, the Fairy Queen. Who is Mark Leota? Excuse me? Just kidding. No, I'm sorry. That's wrong. Actually, I meant to say, who is Daniel Monahan? Oh. Hey, watch it. Dan Daniel. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> just kidding. Who was it? Edmund Spencer. Never heard of him. Central Railway of Peru, the world's highest standard gauge railroad, crosses this mountain range. What are the Andes? That's right. Pick again. Transportation for 200. First used in Japan around 1870, this two wheeled cart usually had a hood to protect the passengers. Two-wheeled cart. Uh, a wheelbarrow? No, sorry. Two-wheeled cart. What is a chariot? No? No, that's not right. Anyone else? Oh, uh, foo. Oops, I don't know. Gosh, that's wrong. We got some tough clues here. A rickshaw. Rickshaw. Name for an English county. It's a two wheat seated four wheeled carriage with or without a fringe top. A Surrey. Right. DJ can stand for a disc jockey or for this part of a record album. A dust jacket. Oh, yeah. You got it. This Dances of Wolf Star's first film was Sizzle Beach, USA, made years before its 1986 release. Who is Kevin Costner? You got it. Make another Famous Actors for 200. This actor did much of his own stunt driving as Popeye Doyle in The French Connection. Uh, who is Gene Hackman? That's a correct response. Famous actor's 400. In 1971, this Bonanza star received the Order of Canada. Who was Michael Landon? No, sorry. Ah, no. Oof, oof. Lauren Green, oh yeah. You're right. In telecommunications, PBS is the public broadcasting service and NPR is this. What is National Public Radio? You got it. Abbreviations for 500. Biblically speaking, JUD could stand for the Book of Judges or for this book of the Apocrypha. Judith? Yes. Now the last clue. This actor gained 50 pounds to play boxer Jake LaMotta in Raging Bull. Who is uh, Joe... No, not Joe Pesci. Who is in Raging Bull? Uh, who is... Um, Robert De Niro. You got it. And I am out of the hole and in second place.
All right, it's time now for the double jeopardy round. This program has performed an illegal operation and will be shut down. Ah. Well, I'll just take the game as is then. I'll see you all for that um, next segment. Ah, foop.